London! London! Wow, Bill! Elwood! So I broke my glasses. And I can't see a damn thing without them. Up close. I can see way over there. But I can't see up close. Which means your comments are basically nothing but blurs to me right now. But <laughs> it's okay. Because I found an old pair. Elsa! Um, I found an old pair that I can use. The only problem is they're not strong enough. Uh, but they're just strong enough that I can read with them. <laughs> the problem is <laughs> they give me a busting headache when I wear them, which is why I started the stream without them on my face. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Put them damn glasses on, woman. You look blind. That's because I am blind without them. <laughs> No, I was uh, just going to share a little story with you. It's not a very exciting story. It's just uh, the story of what happened to my glasses. Okay, y'all know I generally wear my glasses up here if I'm not trying to read something. So I had them on top of my head the other night. And no, no, they didn't fall off. Um, can you get another pair? Yes, yes, I can. <clears throat> and hopefully within the next couple of days, that will be happening. Um. What happened was my shoulder <laughs> was killing me. I know, I swear there's a connection. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I've got Biofreeze, which is kind of like Icy Hot, but doesn't stink as bad. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just put some of that on. Now here's the problem. I can't get to my shoulder to put the medicine on it without removing my shirt. And there you have it. I'll give you that for a moment. Just let you think about that. Okay. Hope you can drive with them when you go to get new ones. Oh, it's okay. I can see to drive. It's the reading that I can't do. And uh, honestly, if I didn't have my glasses on right now, even me on the screen would be blurry. Okay. So up close is de deleted. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> um, without them, everything is a blur up close. Far off, I can see, which means I can drive without glasses. <laughs> no deleting images. Um, so what happened was this. In order to take my shirt off, I had to move my glasses off top of my head. Otherwise, you know, when I went to take my shirt off, my glasses were going to fly across the room and get broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good thing we sidestepped that landmine. Uh, so I just retch and I was standing beside my bed. I retch and took the glasses off top of my head and laid them down on the bed. Pulled my shirt part of the way off. Took the medicine, put it on my arm. Okay. <gasps> Robert! And then I put my shirt back on. <laughs> well, you got here just at the wrong moment, Robert. I was already getting dressed again. <laughs> may just end up in a place you don't <laughs> intend to go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now I've got the medicine on my arm. It's 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 working. I've got my shirt back on, so that's good. And then I go to sit back down on the bed. Only I go to get on the bed with my knee first and then set the rest of the way down. Except when I put my knee up on the bed, I heard crunch. Apparently, I put my knee right where I had just laid my friggin' glasses, and I literally broke them right here in two. Just snapped them right in two. So, this is why I'm wearing these. You should have seen me yesterday. I was trying to wear the broke ones with a piece of duct tape in the middle. <laughs> was I a sight to behold? <laughs> Let me figure that one out. My worst nightmare. Yes. Now, 
And there went the fire. Okay. Um, it's okay. Nothing caught. It went out. Um, here's the thing. I'm the person that has constantly said to my son since the day he started wearing glasses, please be careful with your glasses. If you don't have them on your face, please put them in the case. Okay, because I got us some really hard cases that protects the glasses, right? <laughs> I have told him since the day he started wearing glasses, please be careful. Please be careful. Don't just lay them anywhere. Just anytime they're not on your face, put them in the in the case that I got you. <laughs> yeah, he's had two pair of glasses. One, the first pair, because he needed glasses. And then his eyes got a tad bit worse. So they had to strengthen the prescription and he had to get a second pair. Okay. So two pair of glasses in his whole lifetime. Only glass wear. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Alvin. Um, and in all the time that he's worn glasses, he has never broken them. I think I have broken three pairs in the last two years. Swear to God. How the hell do you put the glasses on a bed? That's a no-no woman. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> and I apparently just found that out the hard way. Oh, my God. And I'm the one telling him to be careful. So, yes, for anyone that wears glasses, you understand my pain and my fear. Still can't believe I did that. I know I broke one pair because I was laughing and I had them on top of my head. And I was like, ah, ha, ah, ah, thump, and in the floor they went and broke. And then, let's see. Oh, right. That one pair I didn't technically break. I just fell. Jerry, welcome. In a good way. Ah. Um, when I fell down my son's steps back last year, yeah, they went flying. So I scratched them all to hell and could not see through them. I had one pair. Oh, wait. Yeah, there was a pair I had hanging on my shirt and had leaned over for something. And when I stood back up, they flipped off my shirt and hit the sidewalk. They didn't break, but it scratched them and I couldn't see through them. Need to get better about wearing my glasses. I just don't wear them. Nice. I have double vision, so not wearing them doesn't affect me too much. Okay. No, it was just insane. So I broke at least three pairs and scratched at least two. I suck taking care of glasses. Oh, yeah, that one pair got broke, but that wasn't technically my fault. You know those strings that you can get to attach to them so that, you know, when you take them off, they can just hang there around your neck, and that way you don't drop them or lose them or anything? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had frameless glasses. Had them on the string laying down, you know, because I didn't have them on, so I just took them off. And they were on the string. Someone hugged me. And they hugged me really hard. <laughs> when they did, I heard it go crunch. And there went that pair of glasses. <laughs> Happy that Folklore won album of the year last night. Yeah, me too. Still can't believe I did that. Broke my glasses, slap in two. Bad track record. Yes, yes, I do, Elsa. Mm. 
It was unbelievable. I could not. Oh, my God. Alvin, that's why I wasn't on screen last night. And that's why I kept sending you voice messages because I couldn't see to type because I literally at one point had to hold the glasses on my face just to read the messages. Are you saying you suck? No. No, I am not. Your performance was so magical. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Who cares about the Grammys? They suck. Okay. Them people are super stupid. Yes, yes, they are. Well, see, this time when I buy glasses, I'm going to get a backup pair. I'm going to get a pair to wear, and I'm going to get a backup pair. Hell, I don't know, maybe two backup pairs. That way, the next time I break them, I'll have a backup pair already. Loved the willow part. Speaking of Taylor, did you guys know that last night Taylor Swift and Harry Styles were seen having a conversation last night and they looked so happy to run into each other my favorite ex of hers ah okay my father has a bad one with his oh oh that's not good sneeze sometimes and you would see <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, sneeze and the glass or the the teeth go flying out. Yeah. Always need a backup pair. Agreed, Jerry. Especially when we're talking about me. These people have seen me go through so many pairs of glasses that it's pathetic. I've had orange ones. I've had blue ones. I've had black ones. Who deserve to win don't or they don't even get nominated oh yeah i heard a big controversy about that earlier you know you could have still came on camera with me last night glasses or no glasses. yeah but i still couldn't have read the comments alvin plus i really didn't want anybody to see me like this uh, trying to read the comments and hold my glasses together because the duct tape was coming loose. And, well, plus, you know, glasses, duct tape, you look like a goober kind of thing. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Can't seem to find the right strength of glasses when I try on different pairs at the pharmacy. Okay, these are a two, 2.00. Okay, um, I'm guessing that you can't see close up and that's why you're going to the pharmacy because generally those are reading glasses and that's what I'm wearing. I can't see close up to read anything. Um, geez, I don't know how to advise you on that. Um, uh, oh, wait, yes, I do. Um, Elsa, find something, either take something with you or find something in the store that has really small print on it. Wear a super special kind that corrects my double vision, so I have to get, oh, the super expensive prescription ones. Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. I think I need a 1.5, but there isn't a 1.5, if I remember correctly. Yes, there is, but I don't remember where to get, because I know it goes all the way down to 0 0.25. But those you generally have to get like from a doctor or something uh, or have them special ordered because a pharmacy generally starts at 1.75, I think.
Okay, if you're a 1.5, how long has it been since you got glasses, Elsa? And the reason I ask it, I don't need a specific date or anything. I just mean uh, if you've had them, you should see me with fine print. Damn, I'm blind as a bat. Okay, this is what you do. Go in the store. <clears throat> Hell, I need glasses. I cannot for the life of me see far off. Oh, oh, Robert, I'm so sorry. That you actually have to go to the doctor for. See, if you just need help reading because everything is too small or too blurry or whatever, you can just go get reading glasses from the dollar store. But that's if you can't see up here. If you can't see over there, you literally have to go to the doctor to get glasses. <clears throat> um, I'll tell you what I did. My son had this lid that came off of something he was drinking and it had some kind of little quiz or something on the inside, some kind of little trivia thing. Uh, and the fine, the, it was really fine print inside that lid. Justin, cowboy, Justin in the house. Um, I carried that lid in my pocket. And when I would go into the store to get glasses, what I would do is pull out that lid that had the really small print. But I have to go check again. Got glasses. Oh, in 2012. Okay, try this. Go in a store <clears throat> that sells glasses. Um, go find something. There's usually something sitting close by there somewhere to where they have the glasses. Find something with really small print on it. Find a pair of glasses that is a 2. 2.0 or 2.00. Uh, put those on and see if you can read that fine print. Because if it's been that long since you had glasses, you your eyes may have gotten a tiny bit worse and you may need a two now. Not blind, Alvin. Just reading things that are really small is a problem. Yeah, there you go. So that, that's how I know to get the uh, right. I t when I'm getting glasses, I take that lid with me to the store. Or if I can't find it, I will find something in the store that's got really small print on it. And I will just take it up to the glasses with me and I will put on glasses and look at it. And if, if, it's, if I can't read it, they're not strong enough. Uh, and if I can read it, then they're perfect. But if you put the glasses on and you still have to go like this, no. Nothing small to see. Move along. <laughs> that was my cowgirl tonight. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How you doing today, Justin? Did you have to work? I can't see without one. Yep. Well, I can see way over yonder, but I can't see close up. That's my problem. I've had those glasses on in probably two years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go for a two, Elsa, and see how well you can see with those. Just remember, grab something that's got really small print on it. And you should be able to tell better. And Bill, you're getting old. Oh, God. <laughs> a good day. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Now, today was a tad chilly. And it was overcast like all day. And then late this evening, it did start to rain just a little bit. Getting, Elsa. Getting 
He is old already. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is everybody being so mean to Wild Bill? <laughs> I'll do it over the weekend. Okay. Well, I do hope you find some that works because, it, oh my God, I went a day without glasses and I thought I was going to lose my ever-loving mind. Or at least what's left of it. Oh, Grandpa Bill. Oh, God. Because I'm the man. That's right, you are. By the way, Wild Bill, I have to say, uh, first of all, really loved your uh, your podcast uh, video. And what I wanted to say was, I don't think it's right. I know they have the legal right to do it. But I still don't think it's right that the company released that without Black Sabbath knowing. Dear God, please tell me I got that name right. Yeah, Black Sabbath. Um. Chicken livers, actually. Twenty years behind him. Damn. I agree. Yeah, is that's just wrong. I mean, what if that fan had never gone up and asked for their autograph on that? They may have never known that that had been put out. I'm sorry, but that's just wrong. That's their music, and they deserved money from that. Damn the devil, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, not 20 years. I'm 28. Uh-huh. Damn. You're only a couple years older than my son. Homemade pizza. Oh, nice. Love homemade pizza. Now you can't count. Oh, God. <laughs> Robert is jailbait. No, no, no. He's of age. Hope that wouldn't stop you. <laughs> Did I say it would? One would do the math, okay, old man. Oh God! <laughs> to learn math. Say math is now racist. Oh God! Better stay away from that. You're already too white. <laughs> I don't know if they're fighting or if they're just talking loudly. I might be old, Alvin, but I still do some things like a young man. There we go.
Yeah, you tell him. Country fan! Shame on you, eavesdropping on the neighbors. What did they say? I don't know. They're not talking loud enough, damn it. <laughs> Talk louder. Can't hear you. Okay, you're young until you need the blue pill. Ah. Hey, Trish. Justin! Cowboy Justin on the screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Howdy. <clears throat> Howdy. Only one tired tonight? No, just me. Well, damn the devil. No, no. I'm Well, I'm tired, but partially lazy, so, you know. <laughs> Plus, the rain makes me want to sleep. Rain will do that. It actually helps calm a person's nerves, too. Oh, yeah. A broom handle. No. Anyway. If I, a, if I take a broom handle and thump on the ceiling, then they'll quieten down and I can't hear them fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny, Trish. You. <clears throat> You're welcome. Anyway, the main reason I was wanting to come on camera is because, uh, I know this won't mean nothing to anybody else but me, but I just thought I would share anyway. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. Well, I found out today by watching an advertisement for uh, Lowe's Home Improvement that the company, uh, the entire company, is turning 100 years old. Wow, really? Yes, ma'am. I didn't realize they'd been around that long. Yep, we've been around for 100 years, and we are now number one. Whoop, whoop. Mm. Oh, yeah, there you go. Why not? Yeah, we we finally beat Home Depot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Missed you so much, Lazy Trish. Yes, me too. That's because I choose not to get any. <clears throat> that just hurts my feelings then. <laughs> Howdy, Bill. How are you? Hey, Justin, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Tired but good. How about you, babe? I don't see you getting none, Robert. Always talking shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Ho, ho. Watch it, Bill. Robert's life will kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can see you shaking in his boots. Mm-hmm. You're allowed oh, yeah. to how you want to. Oh my god. Oh god. Ilsa <clears throat> says she was just kidding, Bill. I know you were. You wouldn't know if I was. Oh wait, it's your lie to tell it how you want to. So in other words, call it what you want to, call it what you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. oh, tree. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I had to. Uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the things that we love about each other is we can talk shit to each other and not get offended. Oh, my that's God. Fun. What a unique concept. Thank you, Alvin. I knew you would appreciate that. So, Trish, how's Rabbit's house coming along? Oh, it's coming right along. I'm hoping it won't be too much longer. It'll be done. <coughs> Raymond, could you send me some nice weather again, please, so that I can, you know, go up there and finish it? Would appreciate it. Yeah, Raymond, damn it. What you got left to do, Trish? Sent <coughs> in the group. Wait, just a minute. I'm reading a comment. High school sports announcer tried to blame his diabetes. Wait. Why he's racing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. 
Oh, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with people today, Trish? Oh. Uh, stupid. That's what's wrong with people. Stupid. Come on! Stupid. 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 stupid never gets old. Hold the fort down, guys. You're good. Uh, pretty much. Mm. Yep. Oh, my goodness, my oh, okay. Bill stupidity, huh, Bill? That's right. Damn right. So how's your day today, Bill? I wasn't too bad, man. I had to work, like always. Mm. Time did you get off of work today? Three o'clock. Oh, hell, that ain't bad. <laughs> you was off work before I was. Yeah. I don't get off until four. <laughs> Not time for the ugly show. That mean you coming on camera, Robert? <laughs> uh, oh, and the FYI, Robert, you're not coming on camera unless you're wearing that hat. Otherwise, I'm not going. I'm going to prevent you from coming on camera unless. Ha-ha. I can't be the only one I'm wearing a cowboy hat here. Come on. Something that you don't do, Raymond. <laughs> hey, Bill, you want to hear something funny? Sure. <clears throat> you might be a redneck if directions to your house require you to turn off the paved road. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. You know what's another good one? We'll say it. You might be a redneck if your wife has ever said, come move this transmission so I can take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hey, don't be talking to Elsa like that. Yeah, Raymond, one of those. Okay, Robert. Mm. 
I already knew that, Raymond. And I thought. What's that? That you gonna have a job, Raymond? Oh, that I'm a good man. Oh, I try to be. Nobody's perfect, you Bill. Old... Huh? Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Um, guys. Yo. Yes, sir. I'm either gonna have to go and end the stream, or you guys are gonna have to hold the fort down. Uh, we've had something happen. <laughs> Upstairs, <laughs> uh, somebody tried to break into this woman's apartment up here. Oh, that doesn't yeah. sound good. I told the landlord, and she said to call the state police. And she is up there by herself. And we're trying to make sure she's safe and that the police get the report. Mm. So, if you guys want to just hang out and chat, you can. If you don't, I can go ahead and end the stream now. Well, I don't know. I'm getting kind of tired, so I was thinking I might go, so. Oh, I will, Elsa. All right. Well, sorry to cut it short, guys. I just, uh, this just kind of happened, so. Uh, it's all right, Chris. Things happen for a reason. Yeah, all I right. just, I want, I want to make sure she's not up there by herself, and I want to make sure she's safe. Oh, yeah. kind of because this is generally a safe neighborhood. So, uh, yeah, uh, I got it, country fan. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll watch it later. Okay, but uh, guys, I will uh, talk to y'all. I was going to say later. Uh, was this Monday? Wednesday over on Robert's channel. And I will stay safe, and I will take my gun with me. So, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> you idiot. Um <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me and thank you for always understanding. And I guess that is going to do it for now. Uh, this is Ice Pets Queen and I am tripping out. Um, Just before you go right quick, something uh -huh. funny. So you're taking your weapon with you. I hope you don't shoot small words at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>